Hello, uh, welcome to today's class. In today's class, we will see how to implement a full header using in Logisim. But first, we will see what a full header is. In the last class, we saw how to implement a half header in Logisim. Um, we know that a half header add two bits. And when we are adding two bits, we saw in the last class that when we add the 0 plus 0, it results in a sum of 0 with a carry of 0. And when we add 0 plus 1, it results in a sum of 1 with a carry of 0. And when we add 1 plus 0, it results in a sum of 1 with a carry of 0. And when we add 1 plus 1, it results in a sum of 0 with a carry of 1. Uh, in today's class, let us first try to add two 3-bit numbers. The two numbers are 111 and 101. Uh, just like we perform addition of decimal numbers, here also when we add numbers we will first start by adding the two least significant bits which in our case is 1 and 1 and when we add 1 plus 1 we know it would re result in a sum of 0 and a carry of 1 we write down the sum 0 as the sum and the carry 1 we provide as the carry in to the second stage. So the carry out of the first stage becomes the carry in to the second stage. So after completing the addition in the first stage, this is the situation we have. We have generated a sum of 0 and the carry out of the first stage is now provided as the carry in to the second stage. Now when we perform the addition of the bits in the second stage, we now to need to add three bits, 1 plus 1 plus 0. Out of these three bits, 1 and 0 were the bits of the original two numbers and the one here is the carry in which was actually the carry out of the first stage. So now we need to add 1 plus 1 plus 0 and we know that adding these three bits will result in a sum of 0 and a carry of 1. We write down the sum 0 here and the carry 1 we will include as the carry in for the third stage. So the carry out of the second stage becomes the carry in for the third stage. This completes the addition for the second stage. And at the end of the second stage, uh, this is the situation we have generated two bits for the sum and the two bits are 0 0 and the carry out from the second stage which is 1 is now provided as the carry in to the third stage and now in the third stage we need to add these three bits 1 plus 1 plus 1 which we know will result in a sum of 1 and a carry out of 1 the sum we include it as the sum here and the carry out is provided as the final carry so that would end the third stage and now at the end of the third stage this is the situation we have generated these three bits for the sum and we have a final carry 1 and we need to include this final carry in our sum and this results 
and this completes the addition of the two numbers the two three bit numbers and at the end of the addition we now have the final sum 1100 zero. so we can say and that the addition of the two three bit numbers 111 plus 101 will result in the final sum 1100 so as i already mentioned in the previous class we built the logic circuit for a half header a half header add two bits it has two bits as inputs and it produces two outputs sum and carry now in today's class we saw that when we add two n bit numbers in today's class we added two three bit numbers so when we add when we add two n bit numbers then in the intermediate stages we may need to add three bits for example when we are in the second stage it was required to add the three bits 1 1 and 0 out of these three bits the two bits 1 0 were the original bits of the two numbers and this one is actually the carry in which actually was the carry out of the first stage so when we consider the carry out and the carry in uh, we end up with this situation where we need to add three bits now a circuit that add three bits is called a full adder a full adder add three bits it has three bits as inputs and it has two outputs sum and carry and it is possible to implement the full adder using two half adders the block diagram here shows how we can implement a full adder using two half adders so in this as you can see in this diagram we have two half adders this is the first half adder and this is the second half adder and we are trying to add three bits a b and c in and we are producing producing two outputs the carry out and the sum and how the addition is performed internally is uh, the first half header add two of the bits and it generates a sum and a carry now we take the sum of the first half header and we add it to the third bit the third input bit using the second half header so we take the sum output of the first half header and the third input c in and we use the second half header to perform the addition of these two bits now the second half header generates the sum output and the sum output of the second half header becomes the sum output of the complete circuit and to generate the carry out what we do is take the carry output of the two half headers and using a or gate we produce the final carry out so this is the block diagram and in the last class and from last class we know how a half header looks like so if we put the logic circuit of the half header here it will complete the logic circuit for the full header so this is the first half header and this is the second half header the first half header is adding x and y it is producing 
the sum output and the carry output the sum output of the first half feather we are adding it with the third bit and we are generating the sum this will be the final sum of the circuit and the two carries we are passing it through a or gate to generate the carry out now let us uh, okay so here we have the three inputs of the full leather x y and c in and we have the two outputs s and carry output carry out so we have three inputs two outputs um to illustrate further the inputs and outputs if we consider the second stage so in the second stage um we had the original two bits 1 and 0 so this would be our x the bit from the second number that would be our y and the carry out of the first stage which is provided as carry in to the second stage that would be our c in input so x y and c in these are the x y and c in and now this circuit will produce two outputs s and c out and this is the s output and this would be our c out output the carry out of the second stage becomes the carry in for the third stage so i hope this clears what would be the inputs and the outputs of the full leather And now let us look at the truth table for the full leather. Remember we have three inputs and when we have three inputs the truth table will have eight rows. So the eight rows are 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1. Now we need to determine the output for each row and this is how the outputs would look like for the first row the c in input is 0 x input is 0 y input is 0 and in that case the c out output will be 0 and the s output will also be 0 and if you consider the last row in the last row c in input is 1 x input is also 1 and the y input is also 1 and when all the three inputs are 1 the c out output will be 1 and the s output will also be 1 and similarly you can determine for the intermediate rows how the outputs look like for each combination of inputs so with that truth table uh, explained we can now try to implement the full adder logic circuit in logisim so let us try to do that i have already implemented the logic circuit in logisim and as shown in the presentation this is how the logic circuit of a full adder looks like so this is the first half adder and this is the second half adder and we are and we produce the c out output by doing a or operation on the carry uh, carries of the two half feathers now let us check the outputs by changing the inputs so when the input is 0 0 0 the output is 0 0 when the input is let's say 0 0 1 the output is 0 1 when the input is 0 1 0 the output is 0 1 when the input is 0 1 1 the output is 1 0 
when the input is 100 zero, zero, the output is 01 when the input is 101 the output is 10 when the input is 110 the output is 10 and finally when the input is 111 the output is 11 uh, so let's choose the full adder logic circuit uh, this another way i'll show you another logic circuit and you try to implement this logic circuit and this logic circuit is shown here again we have three inputs and we are doing a not operation we are taking the complement of each input and then we are connecting the inputs in as shown in this logic circuit uh, actually this is also a full adder logic circuit and how to come up with this logic circuits from the truth table we have not studied yet but we'll cover that in one of the later class uh, so it's possible that once you know the truth table from the truth table we can design the logic circuit uh, we saw one implementation of the logic circuit using half headers uh, lo the logic circuit for the full header we saw that and this is another way we can build the logic circuit for the full header um, how exactly did we know that this will implement a full header we will look at a later class but you can verify you can build this logic circuit in um, logisim and you can change the inputs and then create the truth table for this logic circuit just like you did in the earlier class and you would find out that the truth table that you calculate is actually the truth table of a full header so you can try to implement this logic circuit i will not show uh, the outputs you please verify it yourself however to build this logic circuit um, you need to do few things the first is uh, these inputs are pointing downwards uh, if i put a input here here the input is facing to the right side but instead we want it to face to the Mm, downwards so how would you achieve that is by uh, you click on that input and then this facing you put it as south um, it got distorted so let me try it out again let me delete it first take the input place the input and then you face it southwards so now this wire will come in the downward direction similarly for the not get uh, when i place a not get uh, its inputs and outputs are in the horizontal direction so instead if you want it vertically uh, what you can do is let me first delete it Uh, is what you can do is you first place the not get and then you say facing south now its inputs and outputs will be placed vertically uh, with that information you can try to build this logic circuit uh, that's all for today thank you bye